Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Clutch 23. So I'm going in with my standard team. I've already scouted out my path, and I didn't see any defenders that is going to give me any kind of problems uh, with this team. So no reason to change my team out. But we start this war off with a glitch. So at this point, I've actually clicked and you can see the green up there. I've clicked to go. Now, if you've watched my last video, you know that I've had some problems with lag in Alliance War during that one. And that caused me to go off to the right, which was not my path and was already cleared. Okay, so I'm just sitting here. Now, I also want you to notice how much energy I have. So when I make these videos, I have to string together any segments. So if I did one fight and then stopped and then did another fight another time, that's two that I've got to combine. Not a really big deal, but it can be really annoying if I have many different uh, videos that I have to edit and slice together, all right? So you see there, I lost connection. So uh, I try to time it or manage it so that, you know, I have five energy and I looked and I saw that I'd be able to get to a fight. So you didn't have one video with me just moving, then another video with me actually doing the fight. All right, that was the plan, but that all went out the window. Look at this. How much energy do I have now? But yet I haven't moved. I have one energy gone, didn't move. All right, so now, if you count, I should have had enough energy to get to this next fight. And so I'm sitting here now going, really? Now I can't get to the fight. So I'm just like, well, as far as glitches go, that was fairly harmless, just annoying. All right, so I came back when I had one energy so that I could do this fight uh, before I had to go to bed or anything like that, uh, so that I wasn't holding anybody up. So uh, on this node, uh, you basically want to fire off specials. Uh, specials will reset the counters, but when those counters go down to zero, um, you have a bad time. On this particular node, uh, they gain a lot of furies and you don't want that. So. Uh, I go in with Nick Fury, who's great. They have chosen Stubborn. Everybody seems to choose Stubborn these days. Uh, but Nick Fury is great for Stubborn, all right? And especially good at fighting Thing. Because of the bleeds he can do, uh, he can manage these rock charges pretty well, all right? And you see there, had no problem, barely lost any health, and the real Nick Fury has not had to come out. So pretty easy uh, thing to defeat uh, on that uh, initial uh, path there. All right, so now, if you saw my last uh, war, uh, I took the boss noted up. But this time, I'm like, you know what? Better not do that. Uh, Dormammu is bleed and poison immune. So Nick Fury, not gonna be the best for that particular fight, all right? Um, so here I go in again, uh, they cleared it, and I'm like, okay, now we should be able to do well. Uh, he doesn't benefit from stubborn. Uh, I didn't mean to click that, by the way, still getting lag, um, didn't mean to click it, uh, but I looked over it again, just to remind myself of the node, and now we're gonna go in. And I chose Warlock. Warlock should be able to do some work. All right, so here we go. And I'm trying to play this somewhat slow. Uh, parrying with Warlock uh, increases the infections and, and um, those charges, I forget what they're called, uh, so that he gets infected faster. I think it parry does like two or three and uh, hitting him, uh, of course, just does one, even if you hit the block, any contact. And if he hits you, 
Um, that's one as well. But you see, we just ripped through this Dormammu. Now, I could have taken this Dormammu, even noted up. But with all the lag I was getting, I was a little wary of uh, dealing with that. And so I didn't want to make the fight any more difficult than it needed to be. Because uh, if I had taken that noted and something happened and I messed up, then I know the questions would be, why did you take it noted? Why didn't you just wait? You know, so didn't want to deal with that. So I just uh, waited and we got him down. Since I did not fight um, on that first node, makes sense. My champions were healthy. All right. So I'm looking over here at this Magneto. Now, Magneto uh, nowadays is not so simple to fight. Uh, when he charges up his heavy, he is unstoppable. Very annoying. Captain America Infinity War can take care of that unstoppable uh, pretty easily. Uh, but I decided to just leave that alone uh, for right now. All right. So someone else came in, cleared it. Now, at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to even look over to the right. So you see, I didn't even look over there. I just went right on over to the left. If you watched my last video, you know why. Okay. So first off, we've got Elsa Bloodstone. Now, if you don't know about Elsa, if you're not a mutant and Elsa is bleeding, she's going to put a nasty degen on you. I almost died uh, fighting Elsa uh, I forget which node it was, with a non-mutant. Fortunately, we have Omega Red. So, my Omega Red, and this is my new Omega Red that I just recently ranked up and Max Sig, uh, he's going to be able to take Elsa pretty easily. Now, the timing there, I'm pretty sure they probably had pa um, Limber, which throws my timing off. Once I see that uh, I messed up there like that, I know the timing is... is uh, messing up because of limber. Uh, so we just decided not to do that and we were able to take her down pretty easily. Uh, and I know he's running suicide. I just knew he was running suicide. Uh, but in any case, now we've got Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is broken, okay? Uh, now he may be left broken, but he's broken. Uh, they, I don't believe Kabam is interested in fixing him because broken, he is a better defender. He's much more annoying. If he were fixed, he wouldn't be as difficult to fight. Now, I decided to go in here with Nick Fury because worst case, I'll be able to shut down his evades. Okay, so you see here, I'm just going in. I wanna get some bleeds on him because he can't evade the bleed. I went a little bit too hard and he punished me for it. I'm like, okay, no problem. Uh, try and be a little bit more careful. Now, that's a dangerous thing there because he can evade out of the middle of your heavy and then go right on in, okay? Um, but uh, normally, he would be very difficult with the stubborn, okay? Because he benefits from it. Uh, you see those indestructible uh, notices that are coming up on the right-hand side? He's not going indestructible because of the attack tactic. That's why I chose Nick Fury. All right, so now he's got me up against the wall and I don't dare fight or, or hit him too hard, you know, too many combos, all right? So I'm just doing quick combos and I got lucky there and got him to switch, all right? That was very lucky and boom, we got him down. Uh, we would have got him down anyway, but it was very fortunate that we just happened to get that timing and I didn't do it on purpose uh, and we got him down. Um, the reason I say he's broken is because the mechanic that he was supposed to have in the beginning to switch him doesn't work. Uh, when he's holding block, you're supposed to be able to hit into his block and slowly he will switch. Doesn't do it anymore. Now, if he holds block and you start hitting into his block, suddenly it just disappears. And it's not because he stopped um, blocking. Because when you're playing as Nightcrawler, I've done it and I've held block, they've hit into my block, and it just disappeared. So I know he's broken. But in any case, now we've got Domino. And 
if you've been watching my war videos for a while, then you'll remember that I hate Domino and I've got a thing against Domino. And when I got Warlock, I was like, yes, I've got somebody that is going to be able to destroy Domino. Now, I have some others that can uh, take her. And if you know how to, you know, do the evade sidestep and um, uh, counter her medium attack, uh, you will do just fine. You don't want to try to parry her um, unless you're like me. And I still do it sometimes anyway. But uh, Warlock, beautiful, beautiful counter for this domino. Uh, so we go in. And I don't mind if she hits me up because I'm putting those little infection charges on her. Um, and now I'm just hitting into her block because it's going to speed up when she gets infected. Okay. And because Warlock is tech, don't look at that. She just parried me. That's fine. Um, she had to do something or else I was just going to wreck her. All right. Um, didn't have to worry about her um, or Warlock going unlucky. So I can evade her no problem. And boom, she's down. So other than that little parry, you know, um, I, I don't know whether I attacked her slow or she reacted fast, combination of both, don't know. But other than that, we didn't really have a problem with this uh, domino. All right. Now, for the main event, I actually get some boss action. Here is a boss. He's on stubborn. It's Thing. Now, if you watched some of my other war videos, you know that Thing on a stubborn node was the worst time I have had in war. I mean, it was bad. It was so bad that Kabam actually changed not stubborn, but the attack tactic. That made the difference. It made a huge difference in fighting Thing on the stubborn node. Because after my experience before with him, I wasn't going to fight him again. That was miserable. Um, but the attack tactic, every time I get a parry, and it doesn't matter if I stun them or not, uh, I get, uh, they get a destructible charge on them. You see up there right now, it's at four. So that means I can evade four times right now and he will not go indestructible. I also learned how to fight thing and react a little bit faster so that I'm not triggering that indestructible as much. Okay, so you see here, he, he has the indestructible, but he didn't go indestructible. So as long as I can parry him, uh, we should be okay um, as long as I have enough charges to deal with that. Now, um, Nick Fury is normally a great option anyway because he puts a lot of bleeds. And because a uh, thing is bleed immune, the bleeds will reduce his rock charges. So you have a much easier time managing those rock charges. And you shouldn't have, like what happened to me before where I wasn't keeping track of the charges hit when he had 15 he went indestructible unstoppable whatever and uh wreck me all right now keep in mind at this point the real nick fury has not come out i healed up a little bit before so that i had a little bit more of a cushion before the real nick fury had to come out but i'm also watching the time so in this phase uh the life model decoy doesn't do crazy amounts of damage when the real Nick Fury comes out, he gets crazy damage, okay? So all this time right now is me just whittling down Thing a little bit more, okay? Now that time I punched into his uh, block, he has 15 charges and I baited it out. So now I don't have to worry about the rock charges, they get reset, okay? Now I'm not firing the special three off right now because um, when the real Nick Fury comes out, which I knew he was coming out, uh, it'll do more damage. All right, so now the real Nick Fury is out. Once I evaded that, now he's indestructible at this point because I spent so much time evading. So I parried, got rid of the indestructible, now I fired the special off, and it's going to do way more damage than it would have had I 
uh, fired it off while the life model decoy was out. Okay, so we're down now, getting down to like two and a half minutes and the real Nick Fury is out. So now we should be able to do some more damage. All right, so there we go. He uh, fired off his special one and I'm watching the rock charges. All right, now they're up to 13, but when I do a medium, I knew it was gonna do the, um, uh, reduce the rock charges. Now I beat into his block a little bit and he fired his special one off so we got a reset of the rock charges. All right, so now we're under two minutes and I'm looking at his health and I'm looking at the time and I'm just like, okay, we need to step it up a little bit. Now, because I'm running suicides, I don't wanna just fire off a bunch of specials. Uh, so I'm just trying to get him down a little bit more uh, before I need to fire off, you know, maybe a special two. But I saved it to a special three just so that I wouldn't be killing myself with the recoil damage. All right. Um, so here we go again. Fire off that uh, special. Now, the reason I fired the special off at that particular point in time is because I saw that I wasn't going to be able to push him to a special one. And so after the combo, I fired this off. And look at the damage. So now we're looking a lot better. But we're getting down to one minute left in this fight. And so I'm now, I'm like, okay, we got some time, but we need to, you know, step it up a little bit. All right, so I'm just going. And we have some indestructible. We still got an indestructible charge. All right, I parried again to get another one up. And you see I evaded back a little bit quickly so that I'm not triggering it. All right, and so we almost got him down. And we've got like 40 seconds left. So I'm just like, all right, we're good. We were good. Let's finish it with a special three. And it's lights out. Nick Fury dropped the mic one shot. I believe that was my first one shot ever since the change. So you know I was happy after this one. The war started with a little glitching, but it ended with a photo finish. All right, so now let us find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So we are on a winning streak. We've got two wins in our pockets. So the first two wars of the season have been wins. Let's hope we can continue, but that's gonna do it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.